Now, Attorney General William Barr thinks that the Democrats have destroyed norms and institutions in their resistance of Donald Trump. Uh, now, he said that during an interview with CBS This Morning. Now, Barr, who was, of course, appointed Attorney General by Donald Trump, after uh, writing a letter in which he said he did not believe the Department of Justice should be able to indict a sitting president. Uh, and which, by the way, after the Mueller report, that's exactly what happened. Mueller said, I, I don't have the authority, thanks to the DOJ guidelines. Now blame Democrats for the hyper-partisanship and division in this country. Let's watch. Well, in a way, I did expect it. You because did. Yeah, because I realized we live in a, a crazy hyper-partisan period of time, and I knew that uh, it would only be a matter of time if, if I was behaving responsibly and calling them as I see them, uh, that I'd be attacked, because nowadays people don't care about the merits or the substance. They only care about who it helps, you know, who benefits, whether my side benefits or the other side benefits. Everything is gauged by politics. All right. Uh, so it's funny how Barr talks about, of course, who benefits in the end, right? Because his appointment was clearly a way to benefit Donald Trump. Not the, necessarily the Republican Party, but specifically Donald Trump. Trump looked at that after the letter, and he's like, oh, oh, you want to die a sitting president? Well, I'm a criminal. Well, I guess I will. Uh, I guess I found my new attorney general since Jeff Sessions refused to actually defend me. And that's what I think that position is for, to defend me. Not the United States, but to defend me. Now, of course, he's wrong uh, because, look, he says, oh, no, I, I'm attacked because, you know, I'm behaving responsibly and uh, people don't care about the merits of the substance, right? No, no, no. He's attacked not because people ignore the merits of the in the substance. It's because Bill Barr is ignoring the merits in the substance. Our president is a criminal. Ten counts of obstruction of justice, not to mention the consistent breaking of the emoluments clause, the campaign finance violations, to which there is a co-conspirator, his co-conspirator, Michael Cohen, that is sitting in prison right now. Not to mention all the other possible financial crimes and impeachment inquiry would actually lead, right, or actually uncover. And yet, Barr ignores everything. For whatever reason, I don't know. But he says, oh, no, no, I, I've behaved responsibly. No, you, have, you, know you haven't. He's uh, behaved completely irresponsibly because, again, the DOJ guidelines that right now he is in charge of said they could not hold the president accountable. Quote, a president cannot be charged with a federal crime while he is in office. That is unconstitutional, according to Robert Mueller. Charging the president with a crime was therefore not an option we can consider. Why would you want to consider it? Maybe because he's a criminal. Mueller's hands were tied, and that's the way, unfortunately, I think Mueller might have preferred it. That he not put himself out there, that he not get himself involved. And so he punted it off to Congress. But remember, Mueller also said, if we had confidence that the president clearly did not commit a crime, we would have said that. Now, if you're unable to say that the president did not commit a crime, then what are you saying? What are you saying? I mean, the reason, of course, that he couldn't say, oh, look at all this crime, is because he was powerless to charge the president. And so he couldn't say, without a doubt, well, he's not a criminal. And he also couldn't say, well, he is a criminal. Because both in both circumstances, since he doesn't have the power to charge, he couldn't actually do anything. So he punted it to Congress he punted it to Nancy Pelosi, and of course, Pelosi is not going to do anything. He's not going to do a damn thing. So now, as far as Barr is concerned, Barr put his own spin on the Mueller report, which of course was widely, uh, wildly misleading, basically echoing Trump's no collusion, no obstruction line. That was a clear lie. Uh, there was obstruction. It is not normal for an attorney general to be a mouthpiece and a defender for the president. But unfortunately, that's exactly what's going on. But that, of course, leads me to uh, William Barr's ridiculous statement on norms in this country. Watch. So you don't regret taking the job? No. In many ways, I'd rather be back to my old life. But I think that um, 
I love the Department of Justice. I love the FBI. Uh, I think it's important that we not, in, in this period of intense partisan feeling, uh, destroy our institutions. I think one of the ironies today is that people are saying that it's President Trump that's shredding our institutions. I really see no evidence of that. From my perspective, the idea of resisting a democratically elected president and basically throwing everything at him and, and you know, uh, really changing the norms on the grounds that we have to stop this president, that's where the shredding of our, of our norms and our institutions is occurring. Really? Uh, you don't see any evidence of that? None? Well, okay, so for almost uh, two years, Trump attacked the FBI. He attacked the former attorney general, Jeff Sessions, almost constantly, forcing him to resign. He asked for loyalty tests from James Comey. Then when he didn't get it, he ended up firing him. Then he lied about it, just like he lies about everything, constantly. He has destroyed the norms of this country by saying he could shoot people on Fifth Avenue and still have people vote for him, calling the press the enemy of the people, attacking Gold Star families, attacking veterans, uh, you know, He's saying that he's in love with Kim Jong-un, supporting him over the vice president of the United States. How about saying that there are good people on the Nazi side? How about that? Isn't that destroying the norms of this country? And it's not just Donald Trump either, by the way. Donald Trump's the most well-known example at this moment. But let's be honest. Mitch McConnell has done way more to uh, disrupt norms than Donald Trump. I mean, Mitch McConnell, every terrible thing that you could find, Mitch McConnell is literally in the middle of it. He delayed Obama's Supreme Court nominee for over a year and then just recently said that even though Trump is in the last year of his term, he's more than happy to let a, a Supreme Court nominee go forward if Donald Trump chooses one. There are two words that coincide with Mitch McConnell, and they are not turtle plus man, which those two also coincide with uh, Mitch McConnell. But no, those two words are unprecedented obstruction. When Obama got elected, he said his number one goal was to block everything so that he could make Obama a one-term president. On and on. But no, 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 it's the Democrats who are destroying the norms because they're resisting a deeply corrupt, utterly unethical criminal administration. Get out of here. William Barr, you're a clown. Just like your master. Republicans, MAGA guys, you watching this? This is who represents you. Now tell me, is this who you are? Because if you are, well, I got, I got nothing else to say to you. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc., we're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYTNation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.